why I'm not playing Rail C's. The Rail C's movie was hot, garbage. Rail C's is trash, honest review. I did not expect to see videos like this after the Rail C's movie released. I mean, me personally, I thought the Rail C's movie was amazing. It exceeded my own personal expectations, which were really high. I know we didn't get to see everything, and the production definitely wasn't perfect, but from what we did see gameplay wise, it looked amazing. So, why does it seem like everybody's hating on Rail C's? And instead of me just telling you, let me actually show you guys what some of these people said. Rail C is, is gonna be the same thing as every other One Piece game, except way better in terms of quality. Find fruit, eat fruit, kill things, level up, spin for your race and everything else. I guess I'm complaining it's gonna be a gambling bandit beater, but every game on Roblox is a gambling bandit beater at this point. Once I heard him call Rail C's a gambling bandit beater, that's how I knew he literally knew nothing about Rail C's. He was literally just talking. Arguably the best part about Rail C's is the fact that it's not a bandit beater and it's not pay to win. And the Rail Brothers already told us to expect that, but the movie literally confirmed what they said. The movie showed us that there is no pay to win features. You could literally pick your own race. You don't have to spin. There's nothing with spinning at all. So I really don't understand where he got that from. And if you're worried about game passes, the Rail Brothers have stated multiple times that they want the game passes to be cosmetic. Rail Seas is a passion project, so they don't want to add game passes that are going to completely ruin your experience just depending on how much money you have. Which is also the reason you can pick how you want your experience to be no matter what. You can pick the race you want to be for free. And he also said that Rail Seas was going to be the same experience as other One Piece games, which really could not be further than the truth. The amount of detail Rail Seas has put into this game is literally insane and uncomparable to any other One Piece game on Roblox. And you guys might say I'm just chatting, so let me name some of them off the top of my head. Rail Seas is the first One Piece game to have in-depth and good ship combat. Even if you want to argue there's another One Piece game with good ship combat, it really doesn't matter. It's still clearly the best ship combat we've seen in a One Piece game, if not on the platform in general. It's also the first game to actually let you fight on ships. In other One Piece games, you literally get flung off a ship if you click spacebar or literally move around at all. In Rail Seas, you can actually PvP and Gepo with your boat. You move with the boat and that is literally game changing. People don't understand how big of a deal that is. I have a graduate's degree in coding and I could tell you being able to move with the boat is so difficult to do. I know it's super hard to script. If that wasn't a thing, you literally wouldn't be able to move on your ship just like games like Block Shoots and GPO where ships are literally just transportation from one island to another island. But in Rail Seas, ship combat is supposed to be important and something that you do relatively frequently. So of course they actually made it a priority to be good. Rail Seas is also the first game to have in-depth and good ship customization. Your ship is completely customizable. You can even make it a steam engine and that's just what they showed us. You could change your ship's material which will also affect how other things interact with it. For example, if you have a wood boat, it's more susceptible to like magma or flame damage. The boat is split up into three pieces, kind of like Lego pieces where you have a middle, a back, and a front. But you're also going to be able to customize the furniture inside, but they didn't show us that just yet. Rail Seas is also the first One Piece game to have an in-depth crafting system. And Rail Seas crafting is a big part. You can enchant your items, you can craft armor, you can pretty much do anything you would think. But the reason the crafting system is so important, in my opinion, is it encourages exploration. Obviously, you need to go get the blueprints and the materials to craft your items. So it encourages you to actually go and explore the world and get different things from the world. Rail Seas is also the first One Piece game on Roblox to have non-linear progression. In Rail Seas, you could literally do whatever you want. You're not forced to go in a certain order and beat bandits and then go to another circle and beat bandits. You could literally do whatever you want. The example the Rail Brothers use, if you just want to make your entire experience fishing and then you want to go and cook the fish and sell them on your ship, you can do that. You can be a five-star chef and just have that be your entire gameplay experience if that's what you want. I believe they're also the first Roblox One Piece game to have talent mastery. And for those that don't know, their talent system is essentially how you can upgrade your mind skill, your wood cutting skill, your cooking skill, your crafting skill, and things of that nature. They're also the first One Piece game at least I could think of to add an in-depth lock picking system. And also just so y'all know how good you are at lock picking also does scale with your thieving talent. They're also the first One Piece Roblox game that actually seems to have an in-depth prison and jail system. They didn't show us all of it just yet, but just based off what I've seen so far, it's already better than any other One Piece game I can think of. They said the higher bounty you get, you're gonna get higher prison restrictions, and eventually you're actually gonna get sent to impel down which sounds really cool in my opinion they're also the first one piece game to have an in-depth wildlife system and this system actually relates back to crafting and an adventure and blueprints and literally fits the game perfectly rail seeds is also the first one piece game i can think of that you can actually get directionally based on your 
camera angle. And games like GPO and Block Shoot, you're restricted to just going up. But if you look at Rail C's, you can actually go in the direction of your camera. So if you want to go down or to the side, you can do that. And these are definitely not all the unique things in the game. This is just based off my memory of the movie. And the movie isn't even close to the entire game. And if y'all think I went back and rewatched the movie, I promise I didn't. I literally put on all y'all mamas. I didn't go back and watch the movie. And another reason the same YouTuber brought up for why he won't be playing Rail C's is about testing and how the testing applications work. And he was straight up saying false information. I'll play that clip for y'all real quick and then I'll explain why that's not true. The $10 and $5 price tag. I don't believe that one that you buy matters, but the main reason I'm not touching testing is because paying for the subscription doesn't even guarantee you get to test the game. There is an application only available to subscription payers in which you need to apply to play the game. I see absolutely no reason for this as one, making me pay to have a chance to play your game literally just exists to be annoying and limit the tester pool for no reason. And I feel like a lot of people also believe what he said here. There's a lot of common misconceptions. So let me explain to y'all exactly how this works. So you don't need to spend money at all to get the tester applications. The gold and silver members that spend money just get the applications before the public does. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm a big fan of it, but I don't think it's that ridiculous for them to make it so that people that spent money to support the game are getting the application slightly earlier than everybody else. Like out of all the reasons you could have picked, I don't understand why that's one of the reasons you're not going to play Rail C's. Like you don't got to play Rail C's. We're not forcing you. That is your choice at the end of the day. But really because the tester applications are a bit early? I don't know, man. I do understand you got other reasons too, but still, bro, that's just ridiculous to me. But the gold and silver members, no matter what, are going to get an early access period. This is going to be a period of time where gold and silver is able to test when most of the bugs are already fixed. It seems like it's essentially going to be an open stress test where data will most likely not save. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of the early access system, but at the end of the day, I understand it. It's going to be a good open stress test and it's going to fund the game as well. It's a win-win from their perspective, so I do understand why they're doing it. I do also want to address people saying that the Rail C's movie was hot garbage. And it's really hard for me to understand how human beings are saying this. Much less people that actually play Roblox and have been on the platform for a long time. Essentially, the person in the video and a lot of people are saying the movie was trash because they did a lot of yapping. And I definitely can recognize that the yapping was a little bit of a problem, but even in that yapping grows important information the entire time. And now I do understand if you maybe don't care about Rail C's as much, the yapping really doesn't matter to you, so maybe I can understand it. But still to ignore all the good and unique things you've seen because they were just talking a lot about the game is so crazy to me. I personally didn't mind the length or the yapping because the game actually matters a lot to me, so I don't mind hearing information about it even if it's not as important the only thing that sucked to me personally is we didn't see a lot of the things that we were expecting to see in the movie like for example bosses i'm pretty sure we didn't see any bosses because it took them an hour just to get where they got but either way they did say they are going to be hiring an editor for movie two so movie two should end up a lot more smooth if y'all made it to the end of the video i'd really appreciate if y'all liked and subscribed it does a lot for the algorithm in my channel we're on the way up and i'm gonna keep y'all updated on everything rail c's and you know i love y'all appreciate y'all later